Okay, so this is a quick video for how to find your best meal plan. And basically we are right on Beachbody On Demand where all of your workouts are. And you're going to go to whichever program you're doing. It's gonna be laid out the same for pretty much all of them, but um, we'll do 21 Day Fix, which is a great starting point. Um, if you're just getting back into things, it's three weeks, 30 minutes, and it's really straightforward. So this is a good one to start with. Um, so here you'll see your workouts and everything all laid out for you. There's the remixes that you can switch in. Um, you have everything. So like there was a time when you would get the DVDs and you'd have to pay extra for like this ultimate upgrade, but that's not existent anymore. Also, this one's cool if you have your own playlist. You can do no music, so you don't have to have their music. You can have yours. Um, sidebar. So we're going to go to program materials and just so you have this too, your workout calendar is here in the program materials. So you can see that all laid out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This one goes seven days. I forgot about that. Although Sunday yoga fix is not, it's, it's nice. And you could swap in any yoga or stretching there too. Um, but okay, so here is everything all laid out for your calendar, just so you know where that is. And then you're going to go to the eating plan. And I'm also going to pull up the food list. And I also, that's it. So you have your containers, which came with your package. Um, and you have your proteins, your veggies, your fruit, your carbs, you have your healthy fats. Oh my God. Sorry. So here is where that's going to carry over. Now this is your food list. This is for you to reference like all the things um, that you can be filling those containers with, which is really nice. And you'll see how it's laid out here. So like basically the top foods are going to be the more healthy ones, meaning that like kale, spinach, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, those are all going to be better in nutrients for you. Um, but anything on this list is, is cleared to eat. <laughs> so there's a lot of options. Um, same kind of thing like the yellows, you know, sweet potatoes are going to be like the healthier carb choice, but you do still have on here bread, waffles. I totally had a waffle for breakfast today. Um, you can get like really yummy whole grain waffles frozen, like basically egos at Trader Joe's. But that's all still here. You're just kind of not going to be wanting to eat like every yellow that you have in your meal plan. You don't really want to fill with bagels. You want to mix it up and do like some healthier ones like sweet potatoes or quinoa too. Um, but again, these are all approved. So that's all in your food list. And then you go to your food plan. And here we have the eating plan. Uh, read through this. And no matter what your program is, it will always have this. It will have a food list and a plan. And so you can just read through this, get acquainted with the meal plan. Um, there is going to be, as we scroll, there is going to be a calculation. So you definitely want to do this. And you're going to put your current weight in times 11, which will give, give you the caloric baseline. And then you're going to add 400 to that. And that's going to be because you're you're burning at least like 400 calories while you do these workouts too. So your caloric baseline plus 400, and that's going to be your maintenance calories. Now, if you are happy with where you're at, just stay right there. Um, but if you are targeting to lose weight, then you want to go into weight loss. And so you want to subtract 750 calories. Just go through this formula, and that'll give you your target. Now, it's still a number, but you're not counting calories on ever. So that's what's really nice about this. So let's say that you get 1300 here. Um, I'm using the exact example that they have. Then you're going to be plan A and that is all right here for you and it's all laid out. So regardless of where your calorie targets fall, you're going to fall into plan A, B, C, or D. You're going to fall into one of these. If for any reason you're under 1200, plan A. If for any reason you're over 2299, plan D. Um, don't, don't overthink it too much. Just whatever it says, that's what you are. So if you were in plan a, then you would be having 
three greens, which are your veggies, two purples, which are your fruits, four reds, which are your proteins, two carbs, which are your yellows, um, one blue, which is your healthy fats, one seeds and dressings, which is your orange, and then oils and nut butters, which is, you know, like almond butter, olive oil, um, any of those things. Actually, right now, I think I'm eating in plan C, so I'm getting like massive quantities of oils and nut butters every day, and it's it's kind of nice. But whatever it is that you land at, that's what you're at, and that's what you want to stick with. Um, don't overthink it, and trust the process is really important. So this is all laid out and designed to give you the best results. So that's it, pretty much. So then you have your plan. Now you know how many you should be eating. Um, and that can be, you know, there's a really cool app that you can get on your phone. It is the 21 day fix tracker app. Um, just search it in the app store. And what's cool about that is this is going to have, I don't know if you can, this is going to have your containers on there. And so you can track like at, throughout your day, how many you have left. It's kind of funny because you might find like at the end of the day, you have like a green and a yellow and a blue and you're like, okay, I have to have a meal with like a green and a yellow and a blue, but that works. Um, I wouldn't really worry about the tally sheets. I would just download the app. Even if you're not doing 21 day fix, I'm not doing 21 day fix and I still use the app. So that's what I would do. And then you have like suggestions for sample, sample meal plans, um, ideas here. There's some um, more food lists. Um, but also, I think there's recipes in here, substitutions, free foods, water, obviously, stuff to add to your water. Uh, coffee and tea is okay. Stay away from creamer. And, okay. Oop. I've overwhelmed it. There we go. So here are some recipe ideas, and these are pretty standard. They are very, like, you already probably know all of these things. Um, but what's also really nice is you can go over back to workout programs, and you can, okay, so you could do type. You could always... Do A to Z too if you wanted, or you can just scroll and right around the top is Fixate. Fixate is cool. Fixate is a cooking show that is like using the containers basically. So in every single recipe, she's going to say how many containers are in there. What I wish they did have was like how many containers were in it before you started, but the videos aren't that long. They're really rarely over eight minutes. Um, and so this is really cool. This is like your own cooking channel. You can check anything out that looks good. Um, it's also a good idea to check out these foundational videos. That is a really good place to start in Fixate because you're going to get containers, uh, meal prep ideas. All of these are rad. And the other place that you can find really yummy recipes, that looks amazing, um, is the blog. So I just clicked blog. Now we're there. You can go back to your workout programs there, but you have blog. And this is everything. This is updated like every day. They have, you know, so much more than recipes here. There's articles on fitness, on weight loss. There's ideas. There's there's all kinds of things, but there are a ton of recipes in here. So if you were wanting to like do, I don't know, maybe well, you can click on recipes and you can get just a ton of recipes popular categories and everything, but like say you wanted to do Chinese for dinner, um, you could just search Chinese, 11 healthy Chinese New Year recipes. So it has like so many ideas and I love this. And then if you were to go here and we're going to make, actually I, I like legit am in the mood for Chinese tonight. So we are going to make healthier general sow's chicken. We're going to get the recipe. And so here you have everything. You have the recipe. You have how to make it. 
And at the bottom of this recipe, you have your portion fix containers. So you know that it's one red and half yellow for four servings in the recipe. So for one serving of that, um, which is just nice. It's nice to not have to sit there and think about like all of those details that are just too much anyways. So that's it. That's how to find your meal plan. That is how to use the blog, um, fixate and kind of the whole shebang. Let me know what questions you have. Again, this does vary for every program, but also, you know, it is going to um, be there for you for any program. So just for a quick example, like if you were doing anything else, if you were doing a uh, quarter force, which is fun then that would be in the same place. You'd go to program materials and you would go to your eating plan. And then, hi. Okay, so I'm making this video to do a quick walkthrough of the meal. Yeah, that was weird. My other, one of my other videos on YouTube like started playing, I don't even know. Um, anyways, same thing, eating plan is still right there. And so that'll pull up and you have this for every program, which is just really nice. So that's it. Let me know any questions you have um, getting started. If you have container questions or anything like that, don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Trust the process and you are good to go.